physics made easy quota welcome everyone on our youtube channel my name is daljeet in this video lecture we are going to discuss about the topic optical devices there are other different types of the optical devices so we are going to understand the sum of these optical devices in this video lecture simple microscope also known as a magnifying glass this is a very common or easily available device in our day to day life this is simply a convex lens of a short focal length and we can easily observe the things by holding it near to our eye there is a principle how this is working suppose we have an object ab and when an object ab is placed between the focus and the optical center of a convex lens a virtual erect and magnified image is formed suppose that magnified image is a dash b dash and this image formed on the same side of the lens as the object since a normal eye can see a object clearly at a least distance of distant vision that is up to 25 cm the position of the lens is so adjusted that the final image is formed at a distance capital d from the lens next what is the magnifying power that how much enlarged image we get by using this optical device first of all magnifying power is defined as the ratio of the angle subtended by the image and the object at the eye when both are at a least distance of distant to vision for a simple microscope eye is held close to the lens so the angle subtended at the lens may be taken as the angle subtended at the eye and the image a dash b dash is formed at a least distance of distant vision that is taken as d let the angle a dash o b dash is equal to beta from the previous diagram and imagine that the object ab to be displaced to the new position a double dash b dash at a distance d from the lens and let we take the angle alpha of a double dash o b dash and then we apply the formula of the magnifying power and the magnifying power we express in the form of the angles and that is the beta divided by alpha and these angles are very small so we can apply the trigonometric functions and calculate the value of the magnifying power we have the final expression as small m is equal to d divided by x now we are going to express the relation of the magnifying power in term of the focal length and because it is is mentioned shorter the focal length of the convex lens greater is its magnifying power so for this let small f be the focal length of the lens as the image is formed at a least distance of distant vision from the lens so we take of small v is equal to minus d by using the proper sign conventions then we use the lens formula that is 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f then we put the values of the v and the u and u is equal to x and by using the sign convention this is equal to minus x we get a relation in the form of the 1 by x then by doing the respective calculations by taking the d as a common we create a relation d upon x is equal to 1 plus d by f we know that d upon x is equal to the magnification power that we did in the previous slide so we just replace the d upon x by m and we get a new relation m is equal to 1 plus d upon f so this is very much clear from this relation that shorter the focal length of the convex lens greater is its magnifying power there are the various uses of the simple microscope or magnifying glass in our day to day life we used to see the objects in the magnified view the first it is used by the watchmakers or the jewelers to have a magnified view of the small parts of the watches and to do the jewelry work in a very fine way 
also it is used to look at the words or our letters in a book in a magnified way it is also used to magnify the texture of the fibers or the threads of the clothes also it is used in magnifying the engravings and the details of stamp and this is used in a science laboratories for reading the different scales like for reading the scale of the vernier caliper compound microscope is another optical device that is used to see magnified image of tiny object but this device is differ from our previous optical device that is from the simple microscope a good quality compound microscope is producing magnification of the order of 1000 how this is differ from the simple microscope because in this device if we have the two convex lens is placed inside it it consists of the two convex lenses of short focal length and one is known as the objective another one is known as the eyepiece objective is positioned near the object that to be magnified and this convex lens which is named as the objective is of the very short focal length and having small aperture and we give a symbol f not to the focal length of the objective whereas eyepiece is the another convex lens that have comparatively large focal length as compared to the objective lens and having the large aperture it is positioned near the eye to observe the final image the distance between the two lenses can be varied by using the rack and the pinnon arrangement now we are going to understand about the working first of all look at the diagram there are the two lenses one is known as the objective which is near to the object and the other one is known as the eyepiece so the first when the final image is formed at a least distance of distant vision we have a object which is named at a ab this object to be viewed at a place at a distance u not slightly larger than the focal length f not of the objective the objective form a real inverted and magnified image a dash b dash of the object ab on the other side of the lens o that is on the other side of the objective lens and this is also shown in the diagram the separation between the objective and the eyepiece is so adjusted that the image a dash b dash lie within the focal length f e of the eyepiece the image a dash b dash then act as a object for the eyepiece which act as a simple microscope the eyepiece form a virtual magnified and the final image a double dash b double dash of the object ab and this is also clearly observed in the diagram that the final image a double dash b double dash is inverted with respect to the object ab now about the magnifying power of a compound microscope this is the ratio of the angles first one that is the angle subtended at the eye by the final virtual image that is a double dash b double dash to the angle subtended at the eye by the object when both are at a least distance of distant vision from the eye so we have the formula m is equal to beta divided by alpha beta and alpha are the respective angles subtended at the eye by the final virtual image and by the object as the angles are small so we can apply the trigonometry functions tan beta divided by tan alpha up then by use the mathematical formula we can put the formula by taking the respective triangles from the diagram and we have the relation that is m is equal to h dash over h into d upon ue h dash over h is equal to the m not that is a magnifying power of the objective lens and d upon ue is equal to the m e magnifying power of the eyepiece then we have the relation that is m is equal to m not into m e that is here we 
we replace am not by again put the value h dash over h and further h dash over h for the lenses is equal to v not upon u not why we put it as a v not upon u not because these distances are for the objective lens as the ip sect as a simple microscope so we have one relation from our previous optical device and we use that relation that relation that is a 1 plus d upon f of the magnifying power just by putting the subscript e with m or with f we make this relation for the ips then we have the relation m e is equal to 1 plus d upon f e then as we get the relation of the magnification power that is m is equal to m naught m e we know the value of the m naught in terms of the object distance and the image distance that is v naught upon u naught put that value and for the m e we put the expression that we gained from the simple microscope so the final expression for the magnifying power is v naught u naught it get multiplied with one plus d upon fe so we have the two relations these relations are useful in case of the numericals that is m can also be written as m naught m e and m can also be written in terms of the v naught upon u naught multiplied by 1 plus d upon fe now as the object a b is placed close to the focus f naught of the objective so this is regarded as a special case if such a thing occur then we just replace the u naught with the f naught and we know that the focal length for this case is taken as a negative by using the respective sign conventions so we get a relation that just get in the form of the f naught by replacing the u naught and all also the image a dash b dash is formed close to the eye lens whose focal length is short then what we do we just change the value of the v naught to the l that is the length of the microscope tube or the distance between the two lenses so we get a new formula m naught that is earlier equal to v naught upon u naught now get changed to l upon minus f naught so put the value of the m naught in the expression of the magnifying power of the compound microscope we get a new relation in the terms of the length of the microscope tube so small m is equal to minus l divided by f naught it is multiplied with 1 plus d upon f e so this is for the magnifying power of the compound microscope now the second case when the final image is formed at infinity by a compound microscope this is possible where only when the image a dash b dash lies at a focus of the eyepiece that is f dash e it is clearly observed in the given diagram and also one more condition that is ue is now equal to the f e so after following this these conditions we get a final image at the infinity and the magnification due to objective that is m naught is equal to h dash over h that is also further equal to l upon minus of f naught why we replace the word e with an o because this is a magnification due to objective so we have to follow all the subscripts with the o that denotes the objective and the angular magnification due to eyepiece is given by the expression me that is equal to d upon fe these expression we already understand in the previous slides and then the total magnification by using the formula m is equal to m naught o n to m e just put the value we get the final expression minus ld divided by f o f e so obviously it is clear magnifying power of a compound microscope is large when both f o and f e are small because they are very inversely with each other now the next optical device is the astronomical telescope this device enable us to see distant object clearly it provide an angular magnification of the distant object 
This device is a refracting type telescope that is used to see heavenly bodies like stars, planets, satellites, etc. So now we are going to study how this device is working. There are again the two cases. The first case when the image is formed at the least distance of distant vision and next of course the second case will be when the image formed is at infinity. So firstly we are going to understand the case number one when the final image is formed at a least distance of distant vision. So first of all look at the diagram and we, you can clearly observe that from the diagram it is clear a parallel beam of a light coming from the distant objects fall on the objective at some angle let that be alpha. The objective focus the beam in its focal plane and form real inverted and diminished image that is a dash b dash then this image a dash b dash act as an object for the eyepiece the distance of the eyepiece is so adjusted that the image a dash b dash lie within its focal length then the eyepiece magnify this image so that the final image a double dash b double dash is magnified and inverted with respect to the object and the final image is seen by the eye at the least distance of distant vision now what about the magnifying power again the magnifying power deals with the angle subtended by the eye at the final image or at the at the object so the magnifying power is a ratio of the angle subtended at the eye by the final image that is forming at a least distance of distant vision to the angle subtended by the eye by the object at infinity when seen directly. So in the diagram we make the angle alpha and the angle beta. So angle alpha is the angle A dash O B dash and the angle beta is A double dash E B double dash. So as the object is very far off the angle subtended by it at the I is practically equal to the angle alpha subtended by it at the objective. Now we are doing the mathematical calculation to calculate the magnifying power. Put the value m is equal to beta upon alpha. Angles are small so we take the help of the trigonometry functions and get a relation with the help of the diagram that is O B dash divided by B dash E. Then we use a Cartesian sign conventions and we found that m is equal to minus F O divided by U E. Again for the I piece if you observe the diagram U is equal to minus of U E and and v is equal to minus d because the final image is forming at a least distance of distant vision but take care of the cartesian sign conventions and introduce the negative signs then we use a formula 1 by v minus 1 by u is equal to 1 by f and put the values in this formula so firstly we put the values of the u and the v then we do the respective calculation and create a formula for the 1 upon ue. Then we take 1 upon fe as a common and create a new formula for the 1 upon ue. We have to calculate the answer for the magnification and we get that magnification is equal to minus of fo over ue in our previous slide. So just put the value of the ue in terms of the fe. So we have the answer for the magnification m is equal to minus of f o over f e multiplied by 1 plus f e divided by d so it is clearly in the expression that the f o or we can say f naught has a large magnification than f e and the negative sign for the magnifying power indicates that final image formed is real and inverted now the second case when the final image is formed at infinity 
सो वी जस्ट डू द नॉर्मल एडजस्टमेंट एज शोन इन द फिगर वैन अ पैलर बीम ऑफ लाइट इज इंसिडेंट ऑन द ऑब्जेक्टिव इट फॉर्म अ रियल इन्वर्टर डिमिनिश्ड इमेज ए डैश बी डैश इन इट्स फोकल प्लेन द आई पीस इज दैन सो एडजस्टर्ड और वी कैन एडजस्ट आई पीस दैट द इमेज ए डैश बी डैश एग्जैक्टली लाई एट इट्स फोकस एंड इट इज क्लियरली शोन इन द गिवन डाइग्राम सो द फाइनल इमेज दैन फॉर्म डैट एट इन्फिनिटी बाय फॉलोइंग दिस कंडीशन एंड द फाइनल इमेज विच इज फॉर्मिंग एट आई इन्फिनिटी इज हाईली मैग्निफाइड एंड इन्वर्टर्ड विद रिस्पेक्ट टू द ऑब्जेक्ट so now we are going to calculate the magnifying power by using the formula m is equal to beta upon alpha so the thing which angle is taken as a beta which angle is taken as alpha as the object is very far off so the angle subtended by it at the eye is practically equal to the angle alpha subtended by it at the objective so we take alpha as the angle which is a dash o b dash and the beta is equal to angle a dash e b dash then we take the help of the trigonometry functions as the angle alpha and beta are small and we get m is equal to o b dash divided by b dash e then we check from the diagram apply the sign conventions and we found that o b dash is equal to plus f not and b dash e is equal to minus f e clearly this is having the large magnification as f not is very very greater than f e but in the magnification there is a negative sign so just remember whenever there is a negative sign it indicates that image is real and inverted mm -hmm.